Keep your eye on the ball now. Keep your eye on the ball. Watch the ball all the way. Okay, you're still not watching the ball. You're pulling your head now. Watch the ball. Watch the ball all the way in, okay? It's a good cut. All right, watch the ball all the way in. Throw the hand. Throw the hand. Whoa! Throw the hand. The hand, not the bat. All right. Don't get down on yourself. All right, that's it. Two laps and in. Don't forget, you got to vote on team captain by the end of the day. Hey, Rex, what are you doing here? Came over to see how the team's shaping up. Oh, we got a ways to go. You know, I get rid of that last kid at the plate. Yeah? It's one of my best hitters. Mm, that bad. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, season opener in a couple of days. A tough sir. Opposition. Oh, Kai Lu is one of the best teams in the league. Hell, Bills, I get tired of watching Palmer teams get their butts handed to them. Maybe we should just ask Ken the whole sports program. Oh, Rex, what message would you be sending to the kids then? Is the only thing that matters is winning? Is it any better than teaching them how to be losers? Ah, th this is just depressing me. Guess I'll head home to a dry martini. You know, uh, baseball was always my sport. I pitched varsity at USC. We played college balls, I remember. Yeah? Think you could hit one off me? Think you can get it to the plate? Yes, I do. Well, I think I can hit it off you. How much? Are you kidding? How much? Well, what do you got on you? 43 bucks. God. Normally, I don't like to take advantage of someone, but you're so inviting. <laughs> Batter up. Guess I lost a foot off my fastball. I'd say you lost a whole leg. presents to you know after tonight with the cake and the party oh yeah i mean the opening presents is not something you want to rush through no come on dad they're pulling your leg knock it off you guys see mm. lucy from sunny i hope you like that thank you this stuff thanks it's like yours yeah. sunny made it himself he's made out of cow bone and the string is twisted fiber from a house tree i'm gonna wear it for good luck and i'll never Ever. <laughs> take it off. Okay, Terry and I are next, except we didn't get you anything <coughs> yet, so we want to give you this. Um, this poem's for your birthday from Harry and I to our little brother, a wonderful guy. We wanted to buy you a really rad gift, not something stupid, because then you'd be miffed. But what we should get you, we're really not sure, <laughs> even though we've been looking in store after store. When we find the right present, we both will know that on something real special, our money will blow. <laughs> We didn't forget you, so don't you be blue. And just to prove it, here's our IOU. We love you the most, dear little Zeke. If you weren't our brother, for sure, we would freak. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zeke. 
Uh, it's very sweet. One teeny tiny little thing, Franny. This poem's for you for your birthday from Harry and me. Uh, Harry and I. Object of a preposition. Dad. Just doing my duty as a headmaster, that's all. To Kahulia. It's Kahulia. Who's Kahulia? You. For your birthday, I'm giving you a Hawaiian name. Wow. Kahulia. It means bringer of joy. It's part of my name, so according to custom, I can give it to you. Thanks. My very own Hawaiian name. Oh, Manu. Thanks, Manu. Hey, you're a local boy now. <laughs> now on, everybody's got to call me Kahoolea. Whatever you say, Zeke. Well, last but not least. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So bite you, Zeke. Is this for what I think it's for? All right, take a look around the side of the house and see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I think he likes it. I'll invite it to school and everywhere. Oh, aren't you forgetting something? I said thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> now that you got that bike you wanted, it's your responsibility to take care of it. It's not going to be one of those deals like that baseball glove you left in the rain and that goldfish you never fed. You're going to have to put it away at night. You have to lock it up if you leave it somewhere. Because if you forget to and it's stolen, I'm not going to buy you another bite. Don't worry about it. I'll take really good care of it. It's so cool. Have fun. Be careful. Happy birthday, son. The best birthday I ever had. I haven't seen Zeke this excited since he found out he was allergic to cauliflower and didn't have to eat it anymore. <laughs> to you two to Bertha for me. Tell her we miss her in quilting group. Okay. Got good news. The entire Kailua team has a flu? That wouldn't be good news. That'd be great news. Actually, you should consider this a real honor. Your teammates have elected you captain. Cool. I think they made a good choice. Been a team leader, you're the best player we have. Thanks. I only wish we had more of a chance against the other schools. Uh, we'll do the best we can. We're gonna get killed. Oh, that's Entirely possible. Is there anybody who's not on the team we should be going after? Grab from another sport, maybe? Johnny Leal's running track, but he's just fast. He can't hit. Oh, we don't need any more guys that can't hit. Phelps Sieber, but he's pretty out of control. Bill Beckett moved. I don't know. That's kind of it. I mean, there's Kimo Kealoha. Is Kimo any good? Kimo's a beast. He can pitch, he can bat. Growing up, you had to play with guys who are like, way older. Why hasn't he gone out for the team? He's got to work. Plenty of mouths to feed in his house. I'll have a chat with him anyway. Congratulations. Thanks. What we've been doing here most of the semester is studying ethics from a largely Western perspective. For our last few weeks here together, I'd like to take a look at which of the ethical principles we've discussed apply to Asian and Polynesian traditions here in Hawaii. Now, given the fact I know basically nothing about the Asian and Polynesian traditions here in Hawaii, I'm going to be learning right along with you. Mahalo. Mr. Kelo, you got a minute? Yeah. How you doing? Fine. Look, I know you and I had a run-in earlier this year, but you're not in any trouble, so don't be nervous. Oh, I'm not nervous. i got to use the bathroom. I've been holding it in the whole class. Right, go well, go. Room. By all means, I'll catch up with you. Yeah. Come on. Here we go. Feel better? Yeah. Where's your next class? First time? I'll walk with you. I hear you're a good baseball player. Used to be. Well, how about coming out for the team? Uh, I can't. Look, I know you work after school. I want you to know how much I respect the fact that you pitch in to help support your family. I was only hoping you might find a few hours a week to play ball. 
team could really use you. Uh, Ken, I understand. Kima. Zeke, you didn't take any money out of my room, did you? No. I put some cash on my dresser when I came home. Now it's not there. I haven't seen it. Hey, don't spoil your appetite. Mona's cooking up a Hawaiian birthday dinner for you tonight. Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetie. Did you take any cash off my dresser? No. Uh -uh. oh, couldn't have just disappeared. Well, did you check with Manu? I mean, maybe she put it away while she was cleaning. I just talked to him. They don't know anything about it. Where's Harry? Uh, he's in your office doing his homework. Harry? Are you sure it was on your dresser? Positive. I cashed a check on my way home to do some grocery shopping tonight. I put the cash on my dresser with my watch on top of it, went for a swim, came back, and it was gone. How much? $160. Wow. You right? Yeah, you didn't take any money out of my room, did you? No. Somebody clipped 160 bucks from Dad. Well, what was it me? But you know what? Did you check on the floor? I mean, maybe a gust of wind blew it away or something. On the floor, under the bed, behind the dresser? Uh, did you check with Manu? I maybe she put it away while she was cleaning. Been there and done that. $160 just doesn't vanish into thin air. going out with somebody than just scoring. Me too. You're just ending me for my body. She's got a great body, but that's not the only reason I'm with you. Sure. What's your problem? My problem is it's a school night and I just want to go, okay? Your dad said you could hang out till 9.30. Are you going to drive me or do I have to walk? You know, I don't get you. Good, because you don't have to get me, all right? I didn't sleep well last night. The reason I didn't sleep well is I'm angry. Yesterday, I went to everyone in this house asking about the money missing from my bedroom. Everybody denied knowing anything about it. The only conclusion I can draw is that someone's lying. Now, it's bad enough that a person in this family can't be trusted to respect another person's property. What's worse is that person can't be trusted to tell the truth. I don't like having to lock things up. I don't like being wary and distrustful in my own home. I want the person who did this to own up to it. Own up to it now. I want the person responsible for this to own up to it. The thief won't come forward. I can't tell you how much I hate that. But I guess I gotta live with it my own sake, so I can sleep, I'm going to find a way to put this behind me. But if I ever find out who stole that money, I am going to land on him. And I am going to land on him hard. If you don't get your act together in the month we have left, you won't be asked back next year, and you'll have to finish school over in O'Hare. Hi. Could you give us a moment, please? Sure. I'm not trying to threaten you, Nelson. I just want you to understand the realities you're facing. I happen to believe you can pull this out, but you're going to have to buckle down. If you can raise your threes for effort to ones, I think you'll see a change in your grades. Okay? All right, you can go back to class now. I don't tell you enough what a great job you do with the kids. I don't have a sense of it sometimes. It just feels like I'm trying to find fish in a tree. Fish in a tree? <laughs> it's a Chinese saying. I like it. It's sort of appropriate for where I am with the baseball team, too. Are they as bad as everybody says? Yep. But at the high school level, one good player can make a huge difference in the team. 
Which brings me to Kimo Kealoha. What about him? Well, I've been checking up, and from all accounts, Kimo's as good as it gets. Now, I talked to Kimo about joining the squad, and he says he has to work. Yeah, a lot of people depend on him. Well, you should have seen that kid's face when I talked about baseball. His eyes just lit up. I mean, he'd give anything to play. There's no other way for his family to exist without whatever he brings in. Well, his mom's a maid at one of the hotels. And her salary's not enough for a family of five. His two older brothers lost their job when the sugar mill closed, and now one of his brothers is in jail. I just hate to see a kid not be able to enjoy his talents. Forgive me for asking, but is this really about Kimo, or is this about winning baseball games? Both. What, is that a bad thing? It's just Kimo's working affects his academics, too, and I've never seen this response from you. If Kimo's as good as I hear he is, there's a possibility of a college scholarship, which can make the difference in Kimo's going on to higher education. Not to mention the self-esteem and interpersonal skills you develop from playing sports. Well, I just have to point out the irony that this never came up before baseball season. But then again, hey, I'm a girl. The way men regard sports is beyond me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't give me that. You've competed. The hula dance from It's Hawaii. You're telling me you didn't want to win? Oh, I wanted to win. I just don't secrete hormones that make me need to win. Well, you wouldn't know that from our little discussions. Really? Well, watch this. I'll give you the last word. I'll simply say goodbye in a pleasant tone, give you a nice, big Miss Hawaii smile, then leave. Goodbye, Sam. Keep that under your tongue, and I'll call your mama to come get you. Oh, Val. What do you want? Sam left a message. You need to talk to me. I should be back in a minute. Have a seat. You didn't have the flu or anything, Duddy. I think it's just an upset stomach. And a little hard candy always helps my tummy. Want a lightsaber? Not until after I've taken his temperature. You don't feel warm. Mm. Oh, I think he's mm. going to blow. Let's go to the bathroom. Mm. Use this if you can't make it. Rex, you didn't need to come all the way over here. We could have talked on the phone. I was going to town anyway. What's up? Why don't you give Kimo's older brother a job? The answer is no. You're the only large-scale employer left around here. There's got to be something he can do for you. Sets a bad precedent. How? Oh. A lot of students' families are having hard times. What am I supposed to do, give everybody a handout? It's not a handout, it's a job. Don't have any job. Not one. Hell's bell, Sam. I've had to weather the collapse of sugar prices, too. Not to mention the recession. And a Democrat in the White House that looks at the rich like a tiger shark looks at a big fat surfer. That fuzzy thinking liberals are the worst thing that's happened to this country since that traitor to his class, Franklin Roosevelt. Rex, we're talking about the baseball team here. Now, I could tell you how this would benefit the kid, but I'll put it in terms of your own self-interest so you'll listen to me. With chemo aboard, we can win some games, which is what you've been hound-dogging me about. I don't remember offering to turn my pockets inside out. No, but you keep telling me about the Palmer name and how embarrassed you are to show your face down at that snooty canoe club you belong to because of her sports record. I'll have you know I'm this year's grand navigator at that snooty canoe club, sir. Anthony did it make it. You're gonna need a new hat. Look, the point is, you tell me you want me to do something about our teams. Well, I'm doing it, so put your money where your mouth is. Season opener's tomorrow. I'd say we're gonna get shut out. This uh, brother, has he got any skills? Can he do anything at all? Drove a cane truck at your sugar mill for five years. Well, I'll see what I can dig up. If I get another skin cancer on my head, it's gonna be that little boy's fault. Rex Palmer always been such a devout pain in the keister? Yes. But he's a big improvement over his father. Franny. As your older brother, can I give you a piece of advice? If I say no, will you go away? Why don't you give the money back before Dad makes your life not worth living? You're accusing me of being a thief? Look, I'm, I'm sure you were in some desperate situation, like you needed new eye makeup or something. You just borrowed the money, right? Harry, borrowing money without asking is stealing. 
Okay, then you stole it. Look, if you've already blown it, then I can just give you a loan until you pay Dad back. I'm not even going to bother being offended by this conversation. Because I know you're just trying to shift the suspicion off of you. Oh, right, like I stole it? <laughs> well, who's the one always buying CDs or, or, or filling the car up with gas every five seconds? And hey, we're dropping quite a bit of loot on Crystal there for a while. Right, I have expenses, yes, but, you know, I also happen to be loaded. I mean, because I, unlike you, know how to save my money, too. Well, what do I need to steal for? In fact, when Dad's a little short, he comes to me. But why are you walking around with all of that? Well, I'm not gonna just leave it at home where somebody can steal it. Well, I didn't take the money. We know it wasn't Zeke. We do? Well, for one, the only thing an 11-year-old needs money for is, is candy and gum. And if that were the case, he'd be in insulin shock like that frog in biology class. And two, you know, I know everything he spends money on. And three, the only thing he wanted most in the world was that bike that he got. Well, then who could it be? Harry, are you going to hate me if I say something awful? No, because I think I'm thinking the same thing. Sonny and Manu? Is it possible? Anything's possible. You can have half your sandwich. Yeah. But they're such nice people. Yeah, but when you get right down to it, how well do we really know them? Hmm. I thought you were vegetarian. I am. Why is there bacon on this sandwich? There isn't. I don't eat bacon. Voila. Bacon. Oh, my God. You must have picked up a Zeke sandwich by mistake. I don't... You know, a little meat's not gonna kill you. No, no, I've been a vegetarian for five years. I mean, this is totally gonna pollute my body. Well, if you kill yourself, can I have your room? I gotta rinse the meat residue out of my mouth. I'll see you later. <coughs> hey. Hey, you know that party you had a couple weeks ago? I was sort of a jerk, and it's really uncool. And it's totally not the way that I am. So really, I... I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. Thanks. It's so cool how you can screw up and then apologize. And then, like, people can forgive you, and then, like, everything's bitching again. Uh-huh. Hey, you're going out Todd Matsuoka, right? Uh, sort of. I don't know. Why? I was just wondering, like, maybe if you and I could go on a date. Okay. Really? Cool. Well, how about tonight? Uh, sure, but weeknights I gotta get home early. Oh, no problem. Right after Hanamalu Surf Shop closes, which is like six, this really famous surf photographer is going to be showing surf slides from surf spots all over the world. I'm totally into surfing. Oh. It's like a religion. I'm pretty good. Cool. So, uh, I'll pick you up at, uh, 5.30. Or, or 5.45. Depending on when my mom gets home from work with the truck, okay? Uh, yeah. All right. I'm stoked. Watch the ball now. Watch the ball. Turn those hands over. Throw the hands. Turn them over now. All right, that was better. That's a nice cut. Tommy, can you throw a few? You know, I was going to beach for the limo. My brother Frankie told me I don't have to work. I can play baseball now. He has a job with Mr. Palmer. Yeah. I know you're the one who did this for me, Mr. Bird. Thanks. No problem. Weird, huh? I mean, everyone likes one job and kind of get one. The only rich guy wants something, boom, job opens up just like that. Uh, it works like that sometimes. Well, whatever. Want to take some swings? Shoot. Hey, Malcolm. Hey, let Kimo hop in. He's going to take some swings. Thanks, Tommy. surf photos, I just had to be next to the ocean. I mean, the ocean is so amazing. 
I love the ocean. Those photos are radical. You know, I don't know how people surf like that. It looks so terrifying. Oh, it is. Like when the waves are really big and you fall and stuff, and then you're like, oh, bro, mayday. <laughs> You know that guy, Junior Moipono, who was surfing those really, really big waves at Makaha? He's amazing. He's a good friend of mine. Well, I mean, I met him once. He's a legend. I like that guy that was doing all those really fast waves. Oh, uh, yeah, in Bali. I don't know him. That's my style, though. I look just like that guy when I surf. Only, I got a tighter six-pack. Huh? Abdominals. I'm really cut. A few. That's all right. No, really. You won't believe it. And I don't do sit-ups or anything. Are you a virgin? Look at Manu out there, hanging up the laundry, acting all innocent. And I can't even stand to be around him. Do you think it's possible Sonny took the money and she doesn't know anything about it? They're pretty tight. I mean, it seems like they'd be in on it together. Yeah, probably so. We should keep our eyes peeled in case they make any major purchases. Morning. 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 What a thunderstorm we had last night. Dad! 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 Yeah, Zeke, I'm right here. You don't have to yell. Where'd you put the oil? What oil? Well, the stuff I was using on my bike yesterday. Oh, under the sink, in the kitchen. It really isn't necessary to oil the chain every day. Better play it safe. Anybody seen the morning paper? It's on the Hikie. You know, if you guys don't want to get a present for Zeke, you might want to get him a light for his bike. Good idea. Dad thinks I took the money, too. How do you know? Did you see the way he just looked at me? He was all like, we find the defendant guilty. You sure you didn't imagine it? I wasn't imagining anything. <sighs> Boy, that makes me mad. I mean, something bad goes on around here, and I'm automatically the prime suspect. I'll just tell him you didn't do it. Like, I'm sure he'd believe me. Morning, Manu. Uh, good morning, Mr. Bird. You need anything from the hair side? I can't think of anything. Well, if you do, tell Sonny, because when he's promoing the lawn, he's going over there to go buy one new fishing reel. You don't think somebody told me you were going out with Mopa? I'm not going out with Mopa. I went out with Mopa. It really hurts, you know? Why? You know why? Because I thought we were... What, married? No. <laughs> Fifteen. I'm sort of free to do what I want, aren't I? Yeah. Well, then... What, are you just going to stand there and be all sad and all? Does this have anything to do with the other night? This has to do with me being in, like, control of my own life. I mean, yeah, I really don't get this ownership thing guys have. I mean, it's so completely stupid. Guess maybe I just like you more than you like me. Don't tell me how I feel about things, okay? What's that? Something I made in art class. <laughs> I think it's really dumb. Hi. Hi. Listen, do you have any free periods this afternoon? Yeah, right after lunch. Good. Why don't you come down to my office? What'd I do? Oh, nothing. I just like to check in with my students during the course of the year. You've never had a chance to talk. It's a cute dress. I'll see you in a few. Come in. Hi. Have a seat. I was just taking a look at your late-term progress reports. Most evaluations are okay, but I'd like to see you bring up your math grades. You know, I really bone that last exam. I just don't get logarithms. Are you going to math lab? I know, I know, I should be. It's a good idea. How's the rest of school? How's your social life? Are you fitting in, getting along with people? Yeah, well, you know, it's going okay. As long as they don't bring Kill Howley Day back. Oh. You heard about that, yeah. huh? <laughs> well, don't worry. There won't be a kill holiday in this school as long as I'm Dean. <laughs> How about boys? How about them? Um, I overheard you and Todd Matsuoka having words in the hall earlier. Want to talk about it? Anything that's said in here 
is girl to girl, woman to woman. Nothing goes outside the office. Truly? Truly. Is Todd giving you a hard time? He's basically obsessed with getting his hands on me. So I decide to bag him, okay? And, and I go out with this other guy, Mopa. So we're like out, you know, and he's talking mostly about himself. But I'm going, hey, at least he's not trying to put the moves on me. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he wants to go all the way with me. <sighs> They're all dogs. At that age, boys have a lot swirling around their heads and their bodies, and they have absolutely no understanding of relationships. Well, does it ever get better? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I, I hear it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Freddie. It's important never to let anyone treat you in a way that you don't want to be treated or with disrespect. The truth is, I really like Todd a lot. And I really want to be with him, but... I mean, he's not the real problem, okay? It's more like me. I mean, I'm, you know, and... Well, you know, Todd's the first guy I've ever really, really kissed. And eventually one thing leads to another because one thing always leads to another. And part of me really wants that. I don't know, it's, it's just kind of scary. Well, deciding to be intimate with someone is a big deal. And it should be. Just remember, you can take as much time as you want. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. I'm here anytime. <laughs> Battery operated, fixed mounted to the handlebars. Battery operated detachable, so you can use them as a flashlight. And this one generates its own electricity as the bike wheel spins, so you don't need batteries. Um, the generator thingy is probably better for the environment, don't you think? What kind of bike is it? Oh, uh, it's a kid's bike, you know, like, like a BMX. I think our dad bought it here. Yeah, it was red? Uh, it was a present for our brother. Seek. Yeah, well, we like to call him Kahoolea. The bringer of joy. Oh, I felt so sorry for the poor little guy. What do you mean? Day after his birthday, he's back in here buying another bike. Another bike? To replace the one that was stolen. All right, this is it. Season opener at home. Kailua, they're a good team. What they don't know is they can be beaten. I want you guys to go out there and give it everything you got. On three. One. Two, three, Whoa. and Whoa. let's go! Let's go! Go get him now! Go get him now! Come on, team, go! Let's go, let's go, Kimo now. Throw strikes now. Go after him now. Go after him now, Kimo. Very good. Good pitch. Good pitch. Okay, Kimo. Yeah! Right on! Nice pitch! Now. Three, three. Two down now. Two. Yeah, two. Yeah. Here we go, Timo. Timo. Okay, Timo. We can do it again. Three, three. Right, bring it in. Hustle. 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 Bring it in. You're a hitter now, Buster. You're a hitter now.
the ball. That's it. Right, good, good swing. Timo. You're in the hole, all right? Kalani gets on, Buster gets on. It's all up to you. Come on, Kalani. Grab a bat helmet. Get ready. No hanging your head now. No hanging your head. You did all right. This kid's got a very tough curveball. He's been throwing it all day. That's all right. That's all right. Don't get down. Come on. Come on. Perk up. I don't want anybody hanging their head. You guys should be proud of yourselves. You did great. You did great. <laughs> with you about something. Shoot. Okay, go ahead. No, you. You said you start. Oh, you're the oldest. Guys. All right. Um, see, just don't kill him, okay? He's just a kid. Who? Kahola, oh, yeah. When we went to buy his present. At the bike store? We found out his bike had been stolen. You just saw it out on the lanai. It's a different bike. He bought another one, just like the one you gave him. Probably so you wouldn't find out that he forgot to lock up the first one. After the big talk about being responsible and all, the poor little guy must have wigged. So? What are you gonna do? You're not gonna hit him or anything, right? I'd never hit any of you guys. Well, we waited to tell you until after he went to bed, so... at least his last few hours on Earth could be peaceful ones. You need to nail him at dawn? He's got a big test in the morning. I think it's important he focus on that. I'll talk to him afterwards. Good night. Good night. Do you know how bad I feel about suspecting Sonny and Mario? Tell me about it. Who would have thought the bringer of joy would be the taker of cash? <laughs> I decided to have this morning's assembly here because I know many of you have never been here before. This is a field where our baseball team nearly beat the best team in the league yesterday. And what we'll never know is whether or not having a crowd there to support us would have helped give us a win. Because there was no crowd, there was no support. And we had Mrs. Aguilar out there screaming at the ump every time he made a call against us. We had Dean Douglas annoying the other team with her unbelievably loud whistle. We even had Mr. Palmer in the stands clapping for the guys, but that was about it. School spirit. What does that mean? It means your responsibility as students doesn't just end with what you got going on here. It means you're supporting the entire community of the school. Whether it's cheering for a team, or helping out in a bake sale for the social committee, it means win or lose. Everything that everybody tries to accomplish in the name of Palmer School honors all of us. In case anybody's interested, our baseball team's taking on Castle High this afternoon right here. Hi. What are you doing in here? I need to talk to you for a second. I got class. It's important. It'll only take a second. Please. sorry if I made you feel like you did. I just sort of tripped out, you know? I mean, I get a little weird sometimes. I'm still not ready to go all the way or anything. But I would like for us to keep hanging out together. Okay? Okay. Thanks. And hey, don't worry about Mo. He might have a great six-pack, but there's nothing inside. I think I got a hundred. It was on Paul Revere's right. Oh boy. What do you say you and I go for a walk? In the middle of school day? 
I'll give you a note to give Mrs. Chunton. This is kind of important. I know about the bike. You took the money, didn't you? Last couple of days must have been pretty rough for you. My guess is right now you're feeling like your life is pretty much over. The worst thing about this is, is that that bike here, which started off being this wonderful gift, has turned into the symbol of this terrible thing you've done. And you did do something terribly wrong, see? You stole money, and then you lied about it. You let others fall under suspicion. Now, I'm hurt. I'm very angry about this. But in life, these things have much more serious consequences. You can go to jail for stealing, son. I'm sorry. I thought you'd kill me if I told you that my bike was stolen. I didn't know what else to do. You know how bad you felt that someone stole from you. That's how bad I felt that someone stole from me. We need to do something about this. I'm not sure what that is yet. What do you suggest would be appropriate consequences for what you've done? Ground me for a couple of years. Make me do everyone's chores. You take my allowance till you're paid back. I have to give back my bike. That's pretty heavy punishment. I did a lot of bad things. You did wrong things. Not bad. You're not a bad boy. Here's what I think. I think you get to keep the bike. But you gotta pay me back somehow. We'll figure out a way to do that. Also, there'll be no play dates for a week. You have to apologize to your family. I'm sorry. I know. I know you'll never do anything like that again. Come here. to be them because they're going up against you guys you guys got heart you got chemo Kealoa. you represent a great school i want you to know you deserve to represent that school you deserve it whether you win or lose you honor everybody at palmer by doing the best you can so let's do it on three one two three go Griffin! Go! Go! You need some more. Only if I get those second wind because I'm getting on Kanaka Tash. Can I get tired? Does that mean you're full? I'm not full, just tired. Can you guys come in the other room for a second? Hey, cool, cool, the lasagna. Hi, right, it looks delicious. Now, hold on a second, Harry. I think Zeke wants to say something. I'm the one that took the money off Dad's dresser. Because, well, it doesn't matter why I did it. It was just a crummy thing to do. And I'm sorry for making it all weird around here for everybody. And I hope you guys won't hate me. Manu, if you want to take your Hawaiian name back... That's your name to keep. Even though I probably don't deserve it. Yeah, doing what you just did made everything Pono. Huh? Pono is someone that's right. And you did the right thing. Yeah, well, I'm going to be a lot more Pono from now on. <laughs> Let's see. You guys hungry? No, we ate earlier. So, Zeke, were you just walking around feeling so guilty you thought your head would explode? Pretty much. Oh, I've been there. I mean, I still get the creeps when I think about me and Celia Whiteman taking that blouse of Mom's. What blouse? White with ruffles and floppy sleeves. Anyways, we were like seven, and we were playing dress up, and I got makeup all over it. So we tried to wash it, which made it worse. So we threw it in the dumpster so nobody'd find it. 
<laughs> you took it? I bought that for Holly in Italy. Oh, it's a good thing the statute of limitations has run out. Well, she was sure the dry cleaner lost it. Yeah, I was on a field trip to the Peabody Museum in the third grade, and I clipped this plastic dinosaur from the gift shop. And I came home from school every day for a week, expecting to find the FBI or something waiting for me. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. Why didn't you just take it back to the gift shop? Well, I thought about that, but I figured that I'd be walking right into some police stakeout or something. I finally just buried the thing in the backyard. I had no idea there was so much larceny in this family. Oh, like you're Mr. Perfect? Are we forgetting about how you and Mom lied to us about Heidi? When? When you guys bought that other golden lab and tried to pass it off as Heidi after the real Heidi croaked. How'd you know about that? That friend may look like an idiot, but she's, she's actually pretty intelligent. <sighs> Very funny. So you went along with a great big sin. Oh, everyone has a skeleton in their closet. Yeah, I stole a hay when I was five. <laughs> What's a hay? Octopus. Why would anyone steal an octopus? Go ask her. I really don't want to know the answer. <laughs> hey, Zeke, I uh, probably got to pay Dad back, right? Yeah. Which means you'll probably be looking for extra ways to make money. Which means... Which means that Franny and I... I have our own private manservant. <laughs> Zeke Poo, could you get me a glass of milk? Hey, uh, Zeke, I think I'll be in the mood for a <laughs> spot of tea cut on one eye after dinner. <laughs> cut it out. Oh, wait, and Zeke, you can lay down some clothes for me for tomorrow. Don't hey, listen Zeke, to I'm him. Don't listen to him. Zeke, I've been <laughs> <laughs>